Now clean up on the deep fryer. You want to turn the fryer off. The baskets, those can go in the, in the dishwasher, pot pan sink, nothing special there. Clean these, you would remove the baskets, take the fryer head off, and on the smaller units, this lifts up and out, and you would typically take a, a pot of some sort and a filter. There are several different types of filters. Some people will just use something like this. It's not quite fine enough. You put a nice mesh filter in there. Some people use cheesecloth. There's another filter out there. I think it's called like a mural, uh, mural clean. Is that right? More like a silk almost if you, if you felt it, but it's very fine. The more particulate you take out, the longer your grease will last. So on the smaller units, you take that pot, strain it through here manually, pick it up and just dump it through. Remove this, then take this and dump it back in. Uh, you could take the, the pans there, pot pan sink, dishwasher, what have you. Uh, obviously, yes, you let these cool. That's a good point. You, you still want to strain grease when it's warm. You don't want to let it get cold. It just gets too thick especially when you're using solid shortenings. You don't want to let it get too cold, but warm grease just strains through a little easier. Now, when you take these, these bins, or the, uh, the, the wells, to the sink, you bring them back. Don't assemble the fryer right away. You want to let them dry thoroughly, especially if you're going to be washing down the, the heads. If you leave any water in there when you pour your grease back in, next time you fire up your fryer, that water's going to spatter and pop, and you're going to get a lot of stuff going on. So if you're, if you're cleaning these things, let them air dry thoroughly. Overnight's really good. No need to, to fill them back up, especially if you're using liquid shortening. doesn't matter. Uh, some people will actually take um, on this unit. Let me back up a little bit. For this unit, how to, how to strain it, obviously we've got the valve. So we pull this forward, lift this up, drain it through. We take this, drain the valve, strain it through. You could then put water in here, scrub that unit out, drain the water out, and then be you know, let it air dry again or wipe it down really well and then refill that unit. 